Hey, hey, everybody, and welcome back to our weekly check-in for the first time in October. So we are working with quite a few things here. We have our Erin Condren 7x9 monthly planner. We have our Sarah Marie stickers here, trying to use these up so I can create my own and post them in the shop as well. We have my Bill Do stickers here. I did make some car ones and pest control. The Bill Do and all of these on this side are from Romina Rosa, but I did create those. I'm gonna make them a little bit smaller. And then we have our no spins, which are listed in the shop as well. So all of those. All right, then we have our Budget Moms cash envelope wallet here. There has been some use on this thing this year. Absolutely love this wallet. All right, so we're gonna pull out all of our envelopes for this month, and I'm just using the same ones from last month and using the other side just to utilize it. The gas one is new, but just trying to make sure I use those really well. So first up, we need to see how many transactions we had, what bills got paid, get all those laid down to figure out our how much we spent this first week. So the weeks that we're checking in for is from the 1st until the 8th being tonight. So we have eight days to check in for, so let's see what we have done. So first up, we have groceries. All right, so we went to Walmart on the 5th and I picked up some more non-food items because we consider household things as well as like diapers, baby stuff, um, toilet paper, anything like that in our grocery budget. So that came from there. Let's grab out. Ouch. So we spent a hundred and six. All right. So Walmart, as well as a few food items. I have been using Jordan Page Mill subscription, um, Mill subscription plan. Um, this month was free, but it has been pretty cool. A lot of the recipes are really new. The kids have been actually loving quite a few of them so far. Um, and the first week I only had to buy like two or three ingredients and had everything else already at home, which was really awesome. And then this new week, the same for it. There's a few ingredients that I'm missing and everything else I have at home. So I'm kind of looking forward to the rest of the month and seeing how it goes, but I will let y'all know. All right, and then I went to Food Lion. I have been going in to different stores and looking in their meat department and seeing what I can find that's like reduced or um, manager specials or anything like that that's on a really good sale and picking it up that way I can get a little bit of meat in the freezers that way I don't have to spend a fortune on it but also have a protein to put with meals so and that was on the 8th in this afternoon all right so Walmart was the 5th oh and I spent 16 at Food Lion and picked up quite a few different things. Got some ground turkey, ground chicken to try. We've never had it. Um, God, there was a couple other things. I don't even remember. I put them in the freezer and don't remember. All right, next up we have our gas budget. So, so far we only had to fill up twice. James filled up once and I have filled up once. So that was Spinks. For myself and that was $47 and then James filled up at QT and that was 30 all right so he filled up on the third I filled up on the first next my personal spending I only keep track of mine not the hubbies he does whatever all right, so I've had two transactions. On the first, I ended up having to go to the DMV. I was in there literally two minutes. It was amazing. I thought I was gonna get stuck there all day, but I stopped by Balance on the way there to grab a tea so I can sit there and drink on it before they open because I wanted to be like right when they got in line to get in and out. 
but I had to get a sticker for my car. So on the first went by balance and got a T and that was $8. And then that was $10. All right, so balance was the first. And then got the koozie on Friday or Thursday, Tuesday. God almighty, goodness. All right, so there's that one. And miscellaneous, we haven't had to use it yet. So, which is awesome, but we might be using that this month. So I'm kind of glad I've been rolling that one a little bit. All right, now next up, we are gonna do our Bildu stickers. So, car payments, let's see, it was $200 for the Highlander, and then $170 towards the Camaro, pest control was $33, storage was $64, cell phone was $186, all right, power came in at one fifty forty six so one hundred and fifty dollars and forty six cents internet was fifty six dollars rent six hundred and water actually just came in today and that was a fifty nine ninety nine for water so that's everything that's been paid so far all right water um probably should have kept one of those off and car all right we're just going to double stack those that's fine because we know they're both cars it's good all right so both of those all three of these were paid on Friday being today. Everything else came out on the first or I paid it on the first. Next step, seeing how many days we did not spend any money. So we're gonna start with the second, fourth, sixth, and seventh. It's been fun. So we have four no spins to start the first eight days off with. 31 days. We want to see about 15, 16, 17 no spins. Let's shoot for 17 maybe. Like, I think that's a good number. Have half of the, over half the month and no spins. Fingers crossed. So, but we need to check in and see how much we spent in our categories. So we're missing all but one transaction here. And let me write that down really fast. And that was from today. Food Lion. Now try to color coordinate these so when I look at it, I can see, oh, we have two transactions for spending and two for gas and two for groceries, you know. Make it easy, make it easy, I try. Alrighty, so for this week we're checking in the first to the eighth all right first up is groceries let's see we have two transactions we have one for 106 plus 16 equals 122 spent for the first week all right we started out for this month at 540 minus 122 all right so we should have a total of 418 remaining in our envelope but like I said we don't hold all of our money in there and I forgot to slide it back in before the video so there's three there's the rest all right so let's make sure we have one, two, three, four, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18. Oh, perfect. So that's 418. Let me go ahead and pull that extra back out. Try to keep it very little. 
That way, when I'm out, I can't go over how much I have in my envelope. So, and then the new week, I will add another hundred in there, and hopefully that helps. It works for us. So, but that one's perfect. So, 418. And we have. One, two, three, about three more weeks. So divide about by three. So it's 139 range. So 139. That is sloppy. 418 remaining. So I think that's definitely doable. Um, shouldn't have to pick up like household things this week or this rest of the month because we should be covered, which is great. Next up, gas. We have two transactions for gas, 47 plus 30. So we spent 77. And remaining, we started out this month with 260 minus 77. So we have 183 for the month, about $61 a week right now. So not too bad. Hopefully that works. <laughs> Next month, we did increase it some more for November, so hopefully we can get all the hiccups out for that. <laughs> we shall see. All right, personal spending. We had two transactions totaling $18. Started with 60 for this month. Minus the 18 gives me $42 for the month. So that is 20, 40, 1, 2. Perfect. Everything's coming out right. All right, lastly, spending. We didn't have anything, so we should still have the 150 remaining. All right, so we have 1 and 50. So that is awesome. All right, because that might help to help cover costumes. Because I don't think we quite have enough in holiday to help cover all of that. So we shall see. But there's that. All right. So there are all of our categories we have checked in for. Let me show y'all what our transaction log is looking like for sinking funds. So this was from Bubba's birthday for the bounce house. James's. Um, we purchased three gifts so far for Christmas. We also, James has also purchased me birthday present, a present for me. So went and deposited that so he could purchase it. Huh. But we have this updated, trying to make sure I stay right on track because it is getting into the busy months with Christmas and Thanksgiving and Halloween and everything like that. Just want to make sure we're really up to date, making sure we know exactly what's left on our funds to keep them going. So, but we have covered all of our bases. We have our check-in done for the first eight days. We have a lot of our bills taken care of, waiting on others just to clear um, and pay our next cars. So there's that. We did our check-in for here. We know how much we have remaining in all of our categories, which is very, very important. That way you can stay on track and not overspend. Um, and if you have overspend, kind of adjust your budget so you know you won't be able to go over that anymore, hopefully, or adjust it for the next month. So that way you're staying within the, the budget amount that you have for yourself. Um, I am working on doing a Q&A video, so if you have any questions, drop them in my last Q&A video. There is a link down below, um, so check out that video if you haven't already. Also, we are trying to reach 3,000 subscribers by my birthday on the 26th. We are so close. I think we're less than 300 subscribers away, so if you haven't subscribed, hit the red notification bell down below and you can turn the notifications on to see all my videos and watch them all. I will be so excited to have you and there might be like some kind of giveaway or something once we hit 3000. So I cannot wait to see how long it takes us. Hopefully I can hit it by my birthday. It'll be super exciting. But that is all we have for this video. 
we are set for the week. We're ready to go knowing all of our good stuff on where we're setting out with money. So I can't wait to catch y'all in my next video. So y'all stay tuned and I will see y'all in, in the next one. Bye-bye now.